Hello, I am just here to give a very quick reading on Tiffany Trump. And then I have a private reading I have to do. And that could take me some time. So um, it's the last one I'm doing until I open up a bit more for those private readings January 15th. Um, because I, I just need to make sure that I can keep up with my channel because that's first and foremost uh, my concern. And I do want to read for people, but I'm going to have to kind of stagger that and to go along with my energy level as I'm recovering. Which reminds me, I need the weight shift a little bit. And uh, it's kind of raining here today, and it's overcast, foggy, and chilly near San Francisco. I'm in the San Francisco Bay Area at the coast. And let's see what else. So we're going to look at Tiffany. And I am aware about what's happening at the Capitol and the people in just flooding into the Capitol building and, and that Pelosi's going to be calling, uh, wants to call the National Guard to clear these idiots away. But it's what I, I thought, you know, with my last reading with him, I said, he wants to stir the, his people up to get them out in the streets. I could feel it, and I'm, I'm, I know I'm not the only one out there that has probably picked up on it, and that's fine. It's not a competition. Um, but, like... I'm not surprised. Not at all. And I think maybe for a change, they're going to be the ones... I'm not aware fully if it's... Because who else would be protesting the electoral uh, votes, official declaration, and so on and so forth. Truckers. We need to, I, I will be reading more in that community as he goes out. It's just, they suck up so much of our time that I don't get to read on half of the things I think are a hell of a lot more interesting. The only reason they're interesting is because we want to see them get what they deserve because they have abused egregiously. But anyway, we're going to look at Tiffany Trump. This is how desperate they are. It's just going to it's just going to I'm telling you, it's going to undo and destroy the careers of those ding-dongs that are supporting him trying to overturn the election results and all that crap. They are just, they are signing the end, I am telling you, of political careers in Washington. And I think anywhere. <clears throat> That's my gut level, and it's strong. And it's been like that um, for years now, about the people that have been... Um, in cahoots with him, the GOP. Just wanted to share that. Now, looking at Tiffany, yeah, she's a, she's full on supporting a daddy o. Recently, um, she just went to I think it was probably uh, it was some kind of snow resort area, and they were skiing and and that kind of thing. I'm sure it's you know hoity-toity, and um, she went with her mom and another lady and, and her daughter from what I read just last night, late last night, I had insomnia, so I was just trying to kind of pick up bits and pieces, and um, she has, she's, she's, I didn't realize she was as involved as she is in supporting her father. She's, she's gone, and she's just recently tried to say how much Amy C 
uh, Barrett, you know, is great is a great um, ad because she's a woman to the um, judicial bench, and it's like because she's gradu just graduated law school. Um, she, I, I think, definitely wants to come off as being knowledgeable and aware, but anybody that thinks that, that woman, not to, you know, well, I don't think there's a great deal of hope for her. I see what I saw in my preliminary warm-up reading break the ice reading on her <clears throat> late last night was that she's going to from what I can see we'll, we'll, we'll check again with the haunted house tarot that I'm going to use today um, she really wants to be accepted by I can see that especially Ivanka and her dad and the three oldest siblings and I don't see her ever getting it. And I see that it's going to sting. Um, I think she also, I saw that it looks like they may be pressuring her to do certain things to help their dad in this situation. Uh, the thing is, what I got from it was that, you know, the three oldest don't, they view her as, um, kind of, I don't know how to put it, you know, like they're the three original children, and so there's an attitude that I've picked up with the cards, and just from observation, that the, they think they are the, the the legit heirs to the throne, shall we say. And I think there's a certain, I don't know, I think Baron there is still young, fairly a young person, so there, I think that they're whatever, kind of more friendly, close-knit with, the, with them. Now, there's Tiffany... I don't see Ivanka accepting her now. I, I think Ivanka wants to be the main one if um, because she knows her dad's not going to be there forever and she wants to be the one that holds the power. So Tiffany is just... Ivanka is very uh, competitive, so... I mean, she's competing with Melania... She's competing with, and all her life, anyone who tries to capture her father's interest more than what he shows her would be a threat. Such a sick feeling. <laughs> Sorry, just... Mm. All right, so let's look at Tiffany. What's going to happen with her? What do you want to share with us, spirit? Spirit of the tarot, the spirit of the creator, the spirit of the ancestors. What do you want to share with us, that we should know about Tiffany Trump. I turn over uh, the cards to you at Universe, and I'll read your message. What do we need to know about Tiffany Trump? How are things going to go for her? Tiffany Ariana Trump.
pretty pretty name. Just too bad about. It's really sad. Okay. Tiffany Trump. What do we need to know about her? I just wanted to make sure I got them really shuffled. So, let's go. Daddy shows up first thing. The Emperor. <clears throat> this isn't quite level. I really don't like that. That's better. Okay, so I can see that. We get the Ace of Cups. And I'm reading in pairs. So she has a lot of emotional right from the bat. It's saying um, there's a whole lot of feels involved where daddy is concerned. And so much so that it's with this Ace of Cups, as you know, the Ace of Cups isn't just a full cup. It's an overflowing cascading cup of emotion that's a bit, has a very deep well, you know, comes from a very deep base. And that deep base is represented in the Ace of Cups. And the moon shows up too in, in, the, in this uh, haunted house tarot. They put the moon in a lot because of the theme, but um, I think also because cups and water and moon emotions, you know, daddy issues. Eight of Pentacles. This is her going to, I think, the schooling and education, and I think trying to please her father. She just recently graduated, as I said, from law school. But she feels confined. Let's put it back here. I know that's a little further, but it's a little bit less clear. Oh, now don't do that, camera. Let's see if we can get it to behave. Okay, so she feels, but so she feels confined. She get now. This is interesting. She gets the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Swords, and again, I read in pairs. So she's gotten two eights. Bang bang. Is my stomach rumbling? It's always rumbling. Okay. You know, I think that she feels like she's, yeah, it, you know, as a parent, it just makes me feel bad no matter who it is. Um, and I don't have anything personal against Tiffany other than I think that she's very naive young woman that has been given to be, uh, you know to believe a lot of what she has by her mother and her whatever those that that whole crowd but this is how that looks just so you can see so here she always have to it's, it's the other way around. So here she is going to school and trying hard, I think, to capture her father's, uh, that's so much damn glare, I can't see. She wants her to capture her father's approval. That shows up with the studies, but yet she feels confined she feels like she can't get close to him. She feels like there is that, with those eight of swords that are hemming her down, she feels like she's kind of stuck, or like someone's, you know, the old cartoon where someone takes and they nail down somebody's uh, trouser leg or, uh, you know, the back of their shirt or something. It's like She's just kind of pinned, pinned, um, and can't get, there's a barrier up 
again, just to know there's a barrier up. And doesn't it feel like to me that she can get this approval, no matter how she tries with that Eight of Pentacles over and over again, no matter how she tries to perfect herself with that Eight of Pentacles over and over again, she gets the Eight of Swords, which says, I feel like I've not made any progress with winning his uh, demonstrative approval. Okay. I'm going to the second line now. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Now that could be her, because again, in her chart, she's got a ton of Earth. She's got a lot of Earth signs. Despite the fact that she's a Libra. And she gets the knight, yes, she gets the knight of um, pentacles. I feel like she is working, for it, and she, this falls under um, the emperor card. This is her, I feel like, trying to help her dad in his cause. And it looks like she's been working pretty steadily, but also, sadly, eh, this is her working for a long time to try to get his approval. I hate this. Not the, I'll get it one day, guys. Anyway, yeah. But Ivanka wants to keep... I can just see her grabbing his fat cheeks and orange... his fat orange cheeks and... You're gonna look at me! <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't you don't have any other children. Um, yeah, there's that, and here's I I got this in my preliminary break to the ice reading on her last early this morning when I was awake till six. Um, again, there is the card of retreat and pulling back, and that's in her more present. It looks like she has been most of her life trying to appease him, trying to appeal to him, trying to get him to approve of her, to give more demonstrative affection, and it doesn't look like she's able to feel like she can get close to him. That she only gets so far. Yeah, she gets the... It, how strange. Okay, now that first upper line. This is why I like to show the cards not so much my face all the time. But that first upper upper line, the last two pairs that she had were, to, were two eights. The eight of pentacles and the eight of swords. The second line, she's getting two fours at the end, falling under those two eights. The four of swords that's falling under the eight of pentacles and the Four of Pentacles falling under the Eight of Swords. Yeah, she feels... I think she's going to um, begin to just feel like it's too one-sided. at some point, and I see her pulling back. I see her withdrawing. But I also believe it's how she feels he withdraws from her, her efforts to reach out over and over again, her efforts to do well in school and to get his a bit more from him emotionally, and she never gets I, that's sad. Um, he's extremely tight, wherein I feel like giving her much attention 
rather than just kind of a token uh, acknowledgement here or there, really makes her feel, uh, oh, it, it really makes her feel like it's futile. I think she might end up coming to that conclusion. She's really young. She's only 27 um, right now. But as she gets older, I believe, and maybe in the, within this year or two, she might start to pull back and reassess this whole um, attempt that she's made o over, I believe, many years to try and get daddy's love. you know get get close to him to get close to him in the way that uh, the way he lavishes attention I think on Ivanka she I, I'm sure she feels that's that's it it does hurt her I see that with that four of, of swords it's retreat and just I feel like there's depression she has depression around this I feel like there's possibly I just got a flash with eating disorder I don't know again this is a card reading. This is an entertainment channel for alleged, all alleged, for, you know. But this is what I just got with, again, with that, I'm getting more with that Eight of Pentacles, the over and over again. I just feel like she throws and is pouring so much of herself into trying to be who of the version of herself that Trump would suddenly lavish attention upon. And unfortunately, she's not Ivanka, and he's an idiot. So, still stuck. She's still not getting anything from him. Even despite all these efforts and loyalty that she's shown him. And she's quite frankly apathetic in the future with regard to her father. And I think she's kind of like, and there's, there's also an attitude emotion. Yeah. There's an apathetic emotional attitude there. That's kind of, you know, when, you, when you're apathetic, you really don't feel one way or another. You're indifferent. So that's really not... Anyway, parsing words. Three of Pentacles. I, I always get this. I think the three elder children really don't make her feel welcome. You can see that. I get it all the time. Uh with them. They come up in, as a group. But you guys probably know that if you've been um, following my channel for a while. I just feel like she just feels like no matter how hard she tries, she just can't break into their little clique uh, of, of Ivanka, Donnie Jr., and Eric. And, and Donald at the, you know, the dad. And I think she's going to get to a point in, in her future, on her horizon, where in concern to dealing at least with, I believe, her siblings, her eldest siblings, and whatever they may want or ask of her, she might be like, maybe not so keen to throw down the effort, because I see her feeling apathetic about it. She's more interested in doing her own thing. Um, interesting that she goes, this card falls under vertically the line of the Eight of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles. He doesn't, you know, I feel like she really, really feels like he doesn't see her successes 
He doesn't see her efforts or appreciate them or give her much of an accolade or praise. I think he does here and there, but it is nothing like what she clearly sees <clears throat> being shown to other to her three eldest siblings. Um, she's going to go on her own way. She's going to move on. I think in the future, yeah. She's she's going to realize that she's held on to something that's not going to ever happen with her father. I can see that in the, the cards. And she's young yet, but give her another few couple years. Heck, maybe just even one. I don't know. And I think she's going to be really, really over it. And I believe her siblings are then going to be like, oh, hey, can you, you know, and she's going to be talked to the hand. I'm, I've got my own career now. You guys didn't seem to want me then. And I've decided to move on. And that's what I see that, that she's going to do. I think she's going to feel unappreciated and just being used. And frankly, she's going to feel indifferent. I'm surprised by that because I thought, I, you know, I kind of thought she would be like, Oh, Dad. Now, real quick, going to grab some clarifiers with um, the Lenormand uh, Enchanted Woods. Okay. So, we're just going to have a look I think more with my I'm going to use it's a, it's a love oracle but it, it can also be um, utilized for friendships you know Obviously, if you see something sexual in there, you're like, no, me and my best friend not doing that. Um, you know, unless your best friend is your, and, well, you know, I was just thinking, yeah, anyway, open mouth, insert foot. Anyway, this is the Island Time Wellness. They are making some very cool clarification decks. Check them out on Etsy. Um... I'm just going to just look at that relationship ending because it looks like she just decides that she's got to live, wants to live for her own success. And I do see her having, going her own way to create success in her life for herself independently. Not, it shows, oh, it shows just how much she has for years been trying and trying and trying with him. And I see her finally just going, you know what, I don't want to do that anymore. I'm done chasing you. I, I'm done simping after you. Simping, in case you don't know, is a term that means like where you're lavishing somebody that you want to be friends with or you want to be close to in some capacity, friend or otherwise. Um, by giving them, like doing things for them, you know, being, giving them too much. And I think she's going to decide that he wasn't, he's not worth it because he's not reciprocating and not giving her anything back. And I think there's a part of her that's going to hold some of that hurt and just realize I have broken myself backwards to try and get his approval and affection and he's never going to give it to me. I see that now. And my, these siblings, my efforts to try to be close to them, that's not happening either. Um, she wants to go her own way. and. I think when she starts independently doing well for herself, and they're not, they'll probably be, can I, can I get alone? Click. So let's just see a little more clarity. 
on that last card of the Six of Swords. So what can you tell us? Is Tiffany going to estrange herself from her elder siblings and her father in the future? That looks kind of like an estrangement. Like she decides that she's better off going her own way, that she's wasted a lot of time and energy trying to get their approval, Trump and her older siblings, and then she realizes, like I said, not going to happen. Girl with a snake. She, yeah, she's going to realize she's being used. And there was, in my reading that I did early this morning on her when I was awake, um, not that I'm asleep now. She had that, there was that thing of her feeling like, they're using me. And I get it here too. They're using me. No more. I see, that's it, just, you know, confirmed that again. She's going to realize that she needs to um, maintain her personal boundaries also with this card because they're trying to use her and they don't really care. I think she's going to get some cop on that they don't really care if she gets in trouble. They just kind of want her in desperation um, now to do whatever she can do to help them. And I don't, I think she's going to Folks, I think, ooh, where's that fan? Hot flash. Ooh, okay. Um, the golden mirror. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, that she's, it says one-sided relationship. She's, she's going to realize that they're using her and her father's using her. And this is very sad um, to me just as a human being, uh, for her. But I think she's going to end up being a lot happier, actually. I do see her um, carving out her own life and um, finding happiness, but she's going to realize that it comes by not allowing, unfortunately, her own family and father, elder siblings, who she's been trying to get close to for years, who now only want to use her and they don't want to do really any, it's, you know, it's all for them, it's all about themselves. They're self-absorbed and she realizes it. So that's on Tiffany. And I'll see you uh, probably tomorrow because I've got to do Gail's personal reading. So um, I will be checking in after I go through her uh, personal stuff and her reading, be checking back in to see what's happening um, with at the Capitol and stuff. Crazy. But you know, folks. It's, I think you understand. We'll have some of this going on and it'll be unsettling until we get Biden in. There'll be some more of that, of course. But then I see that that kind of crap is gonna get, you know, popped on real quick. Anyway, if you enjoyed this content, please hit like and subscribe. And I thank you so much for your time, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.